other awards for Paragon players and Valiant players not really hitting the mark in Thronebreaker difficulty. Hi everybody, welcome to a topic-based video with some data, some information, some discussion and some observation. We are doing one of these videos. So first of all, I just want to say a massive thank you to people that got involved with the community tab post that we put out a little while ago. 7,100 people voted in this, which is amazing data. And I provided this to Kabam and I'm really hoping that they take a look at it. And do bear in mind, like, what I feel and what I think is very different to say how other people think. If you're happy with the way that Thronebreaker rewards are at the moment, then that's cool. If you're fine with the Paragon Gauntlet rewards, again, that's cool. That's totally fine. And also the voting being that 64% thought the rewards don't align to the effort and the 36% that said, yes, it's something to do. There may be some people absolutely fine with it. And look, you know, there's still 36% people that kind of chill with the way that the rewards are kind of set up. And we'll look at your opinion and thoughts uh, in a moment. But I really think that for myself, this, these rewards here don't align at all, especially for the effort that goes into them. Yeah, is that a bit of a snobby thing to say? Maybe. But I would kind of point out like the time and effort to what I get back from it. I can get all of this from doing things like Battlegrounds. I could do this from going to different areas of the game. I could spend in the Glory Store. I can get some of the things from Battlegrounds Store. I can get most of these from the Glory Store. There's the 10,000 six star shards. It's not seven star shards. It's not tier four alpha. It's not really aligning with where I'm currently at at the moment. Because of that, I recently decided I'm not going to do it. You've probably noticed as well that I haven't done those kind of monthly event quest guides. And that is just quite simply because I'm not doing it. And as I said, it's not from a snobby point of view. And yes, maybe I should do it in order to get myself a six star Nexus crystal, which I don't technically need. Most of the traders outpost as well is giving me these items right here. Like if you quite literally go to the traders outpost, I could do the side quest, go to traders outpost and go, oh, it's the fresh start of the week, which is funny enough now. Yes, I don't have any Mysterium, but I just need to do the side quest and I get the Mysterium and I can cover whatever kind of like loss it would be from the time that I'd invest into doing event quest and Paragon difficulty. If the rewards were better, I might even kind of go deeper to do it. Another thing as well is I've duped a load of um, six-star champions, which indeed gave me the six-star shards, that uh, seven-star shards that I would have lost from it. The gold, I, I get gold, you know, I don't do arena anymore because I don't have the time. I will be doing that soon because, you know, once the house stuff that we're doing, you know, it's finished, I can focus on, um, I can focus on the game again. Although Marvel Rivals is releasing in December, so I have to think about the my, my time investment elsewhere. Anyway, tier 6 class catalyst fragment crystals. Well, I can get those from other places. And yeah, like I just don't see at the moment for me that there's any great reward within this Paragon Gauntlet and the items and rewards within Thronebreaker itself. Now, I wanted to get some thoughts and opinions from you guys and gals about, you know, where you see you know, the, these rewards, you know, do they need to change and stuff like that. We've got the community tab post. And also, as we said, like, I hope that Kabam maybe, you know, look into it to change it. So let's begin right at the top here. So this player says, uh, well, Cho Simba says, so many rewards in the game are completely updated. That's true. Look at Alliance War event uh, going on right now. 115k uh, gold, 10k five-star shards, and the top reward is 2,500 six-star shards. Yeah, I think they're talking about the solo event. Uh, yeah, that, that should really kind of be um, put up. Same with Labyrinth of Legend and Abyss of Legends. I can literally get much better rewards even before uh, it unlocks Abyss of Legends. And that's the evolution, isn't it? The scary thing is, like, new players to the game will be getting seven stars really, really quickly. Not super quickly, but they're getting quicker than you might think. So therefore, their interest is more for that. Um, and that's the thing. Event quest sucks except for auto fight for units. That's what I do at the moment. And that's just so I can focus on other projects and endeavors uh, outside of MCOC and still get some things. So that's really it, isn't it? Like, you know, what's the incentive? The Paragon Gauntlet is basically the Paragon difficulty. Only thing that's missing is one valid, uh, one for Valiant players. So I suppose with the, the rewards. Uh, only 100% for the 100 dust from the objective. 
if that wouldn't be there, I'd have no incentive to do this. That is something that I would, I think I've got to start sucking up, sucking up and kind of actually doing, doing it to get the, um, the dust from it. That's, I think what I'm missing out the most is the Ascension. And I, but again, I don't want to feel forced to do a piece of content. I just don't, it does not align with where I'm at at the moment. So looking to get like uh, Ascension dust from other places might be the, uh, the way to go with it. Anyway, so there's 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 lots on the Reddit. I've put a link in the description if you do want to read further because I want to get to the community tab uh, on, on my channel and kind of figure out what people uh, are saying. So let's get into the comments of that one and uh, and have a bit of a read. Uh, so if you're featured, let me know. And I'm just I'm I'm gonna just kind of scroll through a load of them. I don't want to read every single one um, on here because it'll be a longer video. No disrespect, it will be a longer video, but I will read them after the video, um, and just kind of see where you're at. And Kabam have seen this as well, so don't get funny. It's just, I've passed on. As a Valiant, rewards aren't great, but it's still resources. Also, it gatekeeping Paragon look until you 100% it, which still was, uh, still has okay rewards, but they are getting outclassed fast. True. I'm in the boat of only to unlock for pa Paragon loot. Uh, yes, for Paragauntlet, it's not as much as a chore since they reduced the number of paths to explore. Still could use a reward update, and that it depends where you're at. Honestly, yes, every beginning of new event quest, I find myself overloaded with energy refills expiring. I just blast through exploration in the first uh, three to four hours, then never touch it until next month. Has been the same rhythm since you since they introduced it. Okay, good. Uh, only to get Gauntlet, I think Valiant should get a free entry to the Gauntlet. That would be nice. I'd like to have a, a kind of a, a skip type thing, but yeah. Uh, it takes too much effort, frankly, and this isn't very enjoyable. Some paths really are just a slog and unfun. And I guess that depends where you're at with your roster strength, uh, because a lot of people will just rank up champions maybe to do the monthly based options. Maybe I should do event quests, but I just don't see the, the value at the moment. For one, still enjoy the event quest, good for you. The node allows me to use those niche champions and test out new ones, that's a good point. Uh, the new two tunes and uh, their specials. Yeah, so I suppose it's getting a quest, um, a quested, no, accustomed to the new, um, the new champions in game and their rotations. So maybe that's a lost trick for me and that's kind of a very good point. Event quest rewards are well overdue. For an update, we still don't even have a Valiant difficulty, a Valiant gauntlet as the potential to be fun and challenging while teaching uh, end game players about interesting new special abilities of new reworked champs as well as their, um, their optimal counters. Let's hope they finally get it in this next. It's cool. Okay, get it. Right, let's, let's go a little bit of a, a manic scroll and kind of capture some more thoughts and opinions from different areas in this one. Okay, we're going down from here. So, we have got, um, I, I do it even though the rewards are crap. You know, good. I think it's good. Um, it just, as I said, it, for me personally, it doesn't align. Uh, it's full It's full time. Kabam stop forcing his 100% um, throne breaker to Paragon difficulty. I would have liked to just the completion and then to it, which I think I said about um, some some point recently last couple of months or something haven't even played the last few months monthly quest not even worth it at all the time it takes rewards to offers yeah um again different it's difference of opinion isn't it they hope they add minimum 500 seven star shards so you can farm for every completion of realm of legends is it just play instead i don't know if that's is that to do with what our topic is i don't know i do it for the gold good do whatever you need to i have to get to the paragon no, fine uh, 9.1 rewards will be obsolete on these re on release day. Um, is that our topic? I don't know. We're going off topic here. Uh, hey, Faust. Kabam uh, waits way too long to update rewards, so it's sad that they know how progression titles are coming uh, a year in advance. How the hell do they plan for buffs for rewards in these areas? Yeah, it's really odd because I know a lot of people are talking about the Sunday arenas and we're like, well, how, why haven't we seen any kind of adjustment with that? But we'll have to see, won't we? If they give 200 tier 2 dust instead of 100 tier 2 dust and 7.5k 7 7 star shards instead of 3k shards and abyss nexus instead of 6 nexus, then it'll be worth it. Do you know what? I like that. That's not that's not too bad as a compromise. It's not ridiculously overtuned. 
Um, I'm sure some, some people will say 7.5k, 7 touch shards might be a little bit overtuned. But I don't know, that, look, that looks good to me as a, as a nice little compromise. I don't know if Kabam... Problem I have with Kabam is they seem to go, we need to take from one area of the game rewards and like event rewards and put it into something else. They can't, they, they have a budget each year of how much they give out. And I don't know if I like that because I kind of feel that stagnates the progression of reward changes. And we talk about this a lot, don't we? Depreciation in game. Something of a certain value at the start of the year, like a tier 4 alpha was really expensive, by the end of the year is not practically worthless, but it's worth is less, if you know what I mean. Like, look at the amount that was given out in the um, of sufferings, you know, summer of suffering, whatever, and 9.1 rewards. So it's changed, hasn't it? The game has changed, and therefore does it does that and should reflect the same pattern of going, hey, you know those Sunday arenas, you know uh, Thronebreaker difficulty, you know these other areas of the game, um, they should be updated with rewards because they're not really aligning with what we can give out. Oh, but it's not in the budget. You know, it kind of feels like it's, we're treading water here with, with kind of encouraging people to play. If Kabam aren't up in rewards in certain areas, people don't play. I'm not playing Thronebreaker difficulty. I'd like to do it, but I, I'm not going to do it if the value isn't there for my time investment to what I get out of it. Yes, I should be going, oh, well, I, I, I need this or this. That's true, but I'd rather save my time and focus on something that's going to give me better rewards. Time investment is important, and Kabam said they were going to make it a less grindier game for your time investment and stuff, but, you know, where you get your rewards is also another element as well. Anyway, lots of decent opinions. I like this as well. Rewards suck if content gives me something else to other uh, to do other than Battlegrounds, which I guess is important. I need other things to do. Uh, won't be this month. Enchantress is being OP and ridiculous. <laughs> as somebody faces off against that champion on lane 5 in Alliance Wars, God damn the person that, that made that champion. Um, yeah, thanks for the um, heavy attack. Um, unstoppable. That's nice, isn't it? Anyway, um, amazing opinions, amazing thoughts. As I said, this is all about being provided to Kabam. I have sent it to Kabam. I think this is great data, great feedback, great sentiment from the community. And I hope that we see some rewards buffs uh, soon. But uh, it's interesting. A lot of people seem to be focused around uh, Paragauntlet as being their main thing. Uh, I mean, for me, I can take it or leave it for what I get back from it because I can get it elsewhere with a minimum amount of effort by just buying stuff from stores. But each to their own, each to their own with what they do in game and how they do it. But I definitely think there's a good cause to uh, to buff and improve these rewards. What are your thoughts on the matter? Put it in the comment section and check out that community tab post. Uh, thanks to everybody that got involved with it. You know, this is why we do these videos because we can get the this info from you guys and send it over to Kabam and say, look, there's a good cause for this. Come on, have a look. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out some other content soon. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.